Oh, yeah. We back at it again with another Beyblade video, and probably my last one, but let's get into it. I got a comment on the Beyblade video from two weeks ago saying that Tetsuya was out here ending people's lives using crabs. Yes, the ones that you find laying in the middle of the beach. At first thought, I was like, bro, what do you mean murdering people? He's probably joking, because Beyblade is just a show that's meant for kids, right? But I decided to fact check if this was actually true and put on episode 5 of Metal Fusion, and turns out I was wrong. Okay, boom, we start off with Bankai, Bankai, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'ma just call him Rodway for now. So he starts carrying an entire log on his back. Like, bro, what are you training for? Your ops must be someone like Optimus Prime for you to be training like your David Goggins, because you are not in the Navy. All you have to do is rip a Beyblade. What's the point of doing all this? So Rod Wave gets interrupted by this guy named Tetsuya, and at first glance, just by looking at his fit, I knew he was gonna be an absolute nuisance, a school threat even. I don't know why he thought putting on Skechers that those toddlers be wearing was a good idea. And on top of that, he has ripped jeans on. Must have got them from the flea market. And to finish it off, he has the craziest haircut I've ever seen. Straight out of sports clips with that one. I want you guys to take a look at what this man says, bro. It's such a crummy thing to do. Mm, don't you mean a crabby <gasps> thing to do? <laughs> Get it? Man, shut your... Like, tell me, is that not a clear red flag right there? That joke was so bad that he even had her questioning what she just heard. Why don't they play poker in the jungle? <laughs> My God, bro. Oh, Too many cheetahs. <laughs> like, nah, that joke is not gonna slide. I need you to stop it and get some help. So the cameraman pans over and we see Kenta watching Tetsuya battle three kids with their Beyblades. And it just looks like a normal day in the Beyblade world. But nah, this dude Tetsuya takes things to the next level because after he wins his match, he says, <laughs> But I'm not done yet. Like, bro, what do you mean you're not done yet? You just won the Beyblade battle. Like, does that not satisfy you enough? Like, what more do you want? Tetsuya is a complete menace because he literally breaks the kid's Beyblade apart and it hurts his feelings so badly that he gets on his knees like Dirk and starts crying. Like, bro, since when did it get this deep? This gotta be some type of bullying, and we might need Ryuga to put Tatsuya into check, because what he does later in this episode should be illegal. Who will be my next victim? Like, oh, nah. If I'm one of these kids right here, I'm gonna be out of there faster than Sonic after watching an entire Beyblade get torn apart. Kenta comes in out of nowhere and he was standing on straight business cause he asked Tetsuya to battle him. They both let their baits rip and Tetsuya is so trash that he has to resort to winning the match by doing this. What's that behind you? Huh? Huh? At this point we need at least 5 referees during a Beyblade battle in case something crazy happens bro. Because he literally cheats to win the match and then attempts to break Kenta's blade in half. And then Jenga comes in to save the squad, and long story short, he battles Tetsuya but ends up losing because one of the crabs somehow stops his Beyblade from spinning. Like, I can't take this show seriously, bro. I know I ain't the only one. So Tetsuya is battling another blader but ends up getting cooked, and we see him end up on the floor and being clowned by this Poe lookalike. And that moment right there was the reason Tetsuya went on his villain arc, because he starts talking about Realize that things like friendship just an illusion and then something awoke inside me nah bro someone needs to put tetsuya into a mental asylum because that's not how a normal 12 year old acts like he should be playing with his legos at his age tetsuya starts screaming like a disney villain and then right after he ends up packing up this kid using crabs like bro how is that even possible I thought that crabs were friendly insects, but nah, they somehow got the ability to end people's lives. I don't think anyone remembers this ever happening, cause the author of Beyblade gotta be trolling us at this point. I gotta have a small word with him. Tetsuya thinks he's the coldest villain in history, cause he starts talking about, nah, we not friends anymore, we enemies now. Bro, he got this man held hostage by a bunch of crabs, and they end up crawling on him, and we know what happened to him right after. Like, where are Tetsuya's parents? Cause how are they just allowing him to commit felonies in broad daylight? Like, this entire show makes no sense to me. Because at this point, nobody's using their Beyblades to battle. 
it's just a matter of who can catch the most bodies. So right off the bat, we see that Kenta is battling this guy, and I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know what his name is, but he looks pretty strong to me. Kenta knows he's finished, cause his Beyblade starts breaking apart, and then out of nowhere, he gets tossed onto the ground and we see smoke around his body and his clothes ripped and everything. Bro, what could possibly send you flying that far and have you in this type of state, looking like you're about to get sent to the next Michael Jackson concert? Because how does a Beyblade have the power to cause that big of a blast? Like bro, you cannot make this up, cause everyone tries jumping this guy using their Beyblades but end up getting... Uh, I don't even know what to say bro. They're out here fighting for their lives over a Beyblade battle, man. Suddenly, we see Ryuga transform into some type of form. I don't even know what's happening, but look at his eyes. Like, what's wrong with him? Is he going Ultra Instinct? So Ryuga gives his power to Kenta, and we see him disappear into thin air like Thanos. And this must have triggered something in Kenta, because watch what happens, bro. Kenta starts crying, and then he just goes Super Saiyan. Like, bro, he wants to be Gohan so badly, I'm actually weak. If nobody told me what show I was watching, I wouldn't be surprised if you told me that this show was a spin-off of Dragon Ball Z. Because we got kids out here that are 10 years old channeling their inner powers. Not only that, but Kenta's Beyblade literally transforms into a whole new blade. Like I'm actually speechless right now bro. But I'm not gonna lie, Beyblade characters gotta be high up in the power scale rankings. But we're not gonna let this slide bro. Considering the fact that you guys said that Kenta can defeat Goku. Like nah, the glazing is on a whole nother level. Seeing that pull right there made me want to leave forever and never come back for another Beyblade video, man. The scene starts with at least 100 people standing together. And for what reason you may ask? Well, it's because they want to battle Jenga. But not only that, they're out here trying to jump someone over a Beyblade battle. Like what do you actually gain from that? It's not that deep. Like does Jenga owe you lunch money? Beyblade has to be a national sport at this point, because everyone launches their Beyblade straight at Jenga. Like what are you trying to do to this man? Turn him into mince meat looking like Frieza? And Jenga does not know what to do, he's just standing there, cause he's never been jumped by metal blades before, which is a crazy thing to say. Jenga is the main character of the show, so he starts going crazy and summons a whole tornado. Like oh nah. Japanese! Yeah, it's officially over. I'm done commentating over this show, bro. I'm out. I want to thank the sponsor for today's video. If you guys want maximum drip and want to pull up to school looking like this, I suggest all of you head over to Fandomion. They got all the good stuff starting from hoodies, hats, shoes, jewelry, phone cases, plushies. They have a wide variety of merch from all of the big animes such as My Hero, AOT, JJK, Demon Slayer, Hunter x Hunter, and One Piece, and many more. If you want to go buy something, make sure to click the link in the description and use the code YOALI at checkout for 10% on your next purchase.